everybody. Welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome if you're new. So today's just kind of a day in the life. Um, I don't really have a lot going, but I figured we could chat a little bit. And if uh, you are new here, you can get to know me a little bit. So I just put away my groceries. And um, I just have like one little more snack thing to put away. Uh, by the way, really good. Little organic chocolate chip cookies. Hey, I went to the dollar store. Um, they didn't really have a lot out. Um, for Easter. They did they did and they didn't. Nothing that I really needed. I'm actually in a couple minutes gonna take you downstairs. Frank is fixing up the downstairs, kind of like a man cave. So I'll take you down there. Actually, if you guys ever tried these, I bought these today. Grain-free cinnamon chips, Siete brand. Um, the ingredients are really healthy. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. Maybe they just take a little bite. They look like this. Mm. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these. Oh god. Very light. Green ants are really clean. Wow, these are really good. Cassava blend flowers, uh, avocado oil, coconut sugar, agave syrup, pumpkin powder, a couple other ingredients. Wow, these are really good. All right, I went to the dollar store, like I said, didn't find a lot. But have you guys seen this? So, I'll put out sugar on my lips. Uh, my friend Susan from SL Style, I love her, and Rebecca from uh, Farmhouse at Metal Hill did this. That's where I first saw it, and then Susan did it, and now I'm going to try it. You buy these pots. Got them at the dollar store. I got, I'm going to try this later, not now. Bunch of these. Anyway, you put them inside of the cloche, and they just kind of, you put them at, you know, not going all the same way. So I want to try that later and just fill it up with the pots. But I'm kind of anxious to try that. I bought some uh, Spanish moss for something else. And they had a little, little bag of this, uh, looks like spring potpourri. So we'll see what's what with that, I don't know. Um, I think I'll take you along. I think I'm going to go to Marshall's. And I gotta look for either one pillow or some different pillows. I usually get pillow covers, but I got some in the family room. Not too keen on them, they're pretty, but it's almost like I need maybe one more. And um, I have not, I can't even do a porch video yet, guys, because today we're supposed to get a little bit of a mix. I think it's more rain. It's in the 20s. So uh, maybe we'll go to um, Marshall's, like I said, and I may wanna look for one other throw blanket. So not a lot going on. I just thought I'd take you along with me. Let me take you off the tripod and I'm gonna show you what uh, Frank's got going downstairs, okay? Before we go downstairs, I switched up my little coffee bar. How cute is that? I don't really decorate a lot for Easter, uh, but I thought that looked kind of cute. So not gonna show you a lot down here because it'll probably be a upcoming video. You know, my kids played down here, mostly my son when they were little, but he did that accent wall. So I'm actually not gonna show you too much here because um, it's gonna be a future video. All right, we are back upstairs. I'm gonna finish cleaning the kitchen and then we shall head to Marshall's, maybe TJ Maxx, I'm not really sure. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm just buckling up. We're gonna head to Marshall's. Um, I kinda wanna get out before it starts getting rainy and cold and yucky. All right, we are at Marshall's and right as I entered uh, the store, they had these cute little um, uh, Easter things. So uh, I'll just uh, show you a little bit of that. I loved this little tray, bowl, dish. I don't know what you want to call it. Wooden and then the top was like a, um, a metal. It was really, really cute. They had quite the assortment of bows and a lot of dish towels and baking ware is coming up.
They had some indoor outdoor pillows mixed in with regular pillows. Um, I didn't really even know what I was looking for, but of course I check out the beige and to kind of see what would go with the two that I already have. But I'm also going to show you a few of the other ones. Look at this one. This one cracked me up. So cute. I actually loved this set with the three pillows because the black and white would go really cute on my porch. And I could probably use that beige one with the pom-poms on my gazebo or I could find a use for it somewhere. This one I thought was gonna go, um, but it was a little bit off. And there's those containers. Um, you'll end up seeing me, uh, I do get those. You'll see what I do with those. And here's more beige. I've noticed, and maybe you have noticed, you'll have to let me know if they're two-pack pillows, um, they've all gone up to 30 bucks. I believe they used to be maybe 25, uh, but most of them are now $30. A lot of throws, um, a lot very wintry looking, and they had a few lighter weight ones. I was hoping to find those pastel colored marshmallows um, that I got last time. I think I got them at Home Goods though, but um, I ended up getting something a little bit different and not here. An awful lot of goodies though. I love this beige and white bunny pillow, it's so pretty. Now we're just in TJ Maxx, um, and I found the bunnies. I didn't find the pastel flowers, but I thought these would look cute um, in the little jars that I bought, but you'll see in a little bit. sweet is that little pillow. Not the most productive day, but I did a little bit of filming and um, some of the stores were kind of crowded and uh, but I was able to get a little bit of footage. So I'll show you what I got when we get home. All right, well, we got back from shopping and um, I think it is a good day for a hot cocoa in my little daisy mug here. We're gonna add a little bit of whipped cream. Ah, uh, yeah, gloomy today, so good day to have a hot chocolate. A nice little treat. Mm. All right, so. We're back. I didn't get too much. Um, so, first we got, you're going to hear noise and some music downstairs because Frank's, um, I guess the walls are thinner than I thought. Uh, Frank's working downstairs on the room. But I did get these. These were $6.99 round glass containers with the wooden top. Um, I'm going to switch out. If you remember, if you've been following me and watch my tours and stuff, I have. Let me get these. It had my little um, pastel marshmallows in them. And even though they match like my kitchen good, I don't like how they looked with the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna use one of these for, let's see if I can get it, these here for Easter. The little, um, little rabbit marshmallows, pink and white. Thought those were cute. I was really looking for the ones I had with all the pastel colors. They were flowers. 
um, but I didn't see any at all three stores that I went to. So I'm gonna fill that with those. And the other one, I'm gonna put my husband's sweetener in it, which is on my uh, coffee counter. So I thought those were cute, $6.99 for two. So those were nice. And I got this. I don't decorate with bunnies that much. Um, I have one on my front window and I kind of couldn't pass this one up, $9.99. I thought that was really pretty. That was from Marshalls. And I figured that can go anywhere and can you can either keep it out in the summer, I could maybe put it in my uh, gazebo. Uh, but for a while I'll have it inside. And then I haven't showed you my family room yet because I'm supposed to be working on a picture wall, okay? Um, I had bought the floating shelves, as, as you probably saw, didn't like them, waiting to do like a gallery wall, have most of the pictures I think I want to do, um, and then my husband got busy downstairs. So the next video, I'm not sure if it'll be the next video, but maybe if I show you the family room, that wall might not even be done. I'm just gonna show you, it's real life. And um, so anyway, uh, these pillows, I have pillows in there, but I got these to go kind of in the back of them. So this is just a beige pillow, but it's got a nice linen texture to it, okay? Um, so, and with the tassels, I thought that'd be nice, but let's get the ones that are on the couch now. All right, so these are, let me move my hot chocolate out of the way. These are the ones um, that I have in there now. Put this way. So let's see how those will look together. I think that'll look nice. Um, my couch is tough because it's not a big room. It's not a huge couch. It is like three seats, but um, sometimes when you put two pillows on each side, it is a little crowded, but it needed something. So uh, I thought that would be nice together. So that'll work out okay. And you know what, they're beige. I can use those anywhere, right? Okay, and then, I think that's it, right? All right, so I wash these and fill them up a little bit more. Let's go near my coffee pot, my friend. Those are my sweetener. There we go. And then I gotta get rid of that. Move that over here for now. And we'll put the little marshmallows in there. Oh, these were cute. By the way, FYI, put a marshmallow in with your brown sugar. Keeps it nice and uh, fresh. Here's a close-up. I think the black one looked bad, but... And then this one here. And um, I'll just put Frank's the black went really good actually with the counter but for some reason it stood out to me and maybe it was the type of cover it was um so anyway that is that all right everybody so i did put them in um the cloche so this was open and i put them all in and then flipped that over um i may do what susan did i may do a dry brush on them. So I painted these, just kind of a really quick dry brush. And uh, it took me like 10, 15 minutes, that's about it. I actually did not um, want to keep it in that other cloche. Uh, the base of it kind of clashed, but I thought this looked a lot nicer. Get some bright green moss to make it show up a little bit better, excuse the outlet. But this is kind of what that project's looking like. Um, and this is a smaller cloche, so those are um, in there a little bit tight, but I tried to change the arrangement the best I could. All right, so I actually put the pots in this glass jar, and I'm gonna add this bunny. I think the bunny could be a little bit smaller, but um, just to give you guys an idea of what you can do. Okay, I thought that was really pretty. Or I wish I had green and white ribbon, but I don't. So let's try the candies there. All right, I kind of like the green rabbit. But just to give you guys an idea, like I said, um, about what you can do. And um, all right, so if you are still here, um, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing it. And I uh, hope to see you soon, everybody.